Zero accounting software 2023 bank rules. Split expense into two accounts and tracking categories. Get ready to become an accountant hero with Zero 2023. Here we are in our custom Zero homepage. Going into the company file we set up in a prior presentation, the bank feed file. We're going to duplicate those tabs to put our reports in. Right clicking on the tab up top and duplicating it. We're going to right click on the tab up top and duplicate again. Let's go back to that middle tab and open up our favorite reports, the accounting drop down and the balance sheet. Tab and to the right, the other favorite report, accounting dropdown and the income statement. You never get tired. You never get tired of the favorites, right? You can play them over and over again. And then, they, and then people try to force you to watch some new thing like a Disney movie or something. You're like, no, no, that's trash. I'm sticking with the good stuff, man. I'm sticking with the fa And we're going to hit the de January to December of 2023, or uh, 22, that is and updating. Let's go back to the first tab now, back to the first tab and go to the account dropdown and we're looking at the bank accounts. We're putting in our more sophisticated rules this time. We've got our bank feeds in place. We're looking at our checking account and let's look at the reconcile tab. We've been constructing our financial statements from the information through the bank feeds as much as we can using normally fairly straightforward rules such as we're paying the gas company or something. So we've got whatever the SoCal gas company, for example, goes to the account of uh, gas expense or utilities. But sometimes it's more complex than that. This time we're gonna imagine that we want to be breaking out an expense to two separate categories. Now this could happen for a couple different reasons. For example, you, you might be in a system where you have uh, two locations, two different locations, and your expenses, you would like to say, well, I'm paying this bill, but I wanna be breaking that bill out on a percentage basis for the two locations. You might have that. If sometimes it comes into play if you have a not-for-profit organization where you might be breaking uh, your expenses out to not profit, you know, categorizations for like a form of class tracking uh, type, type of thing, or I should say kind of like fund accounting type of thing. Uh, so what we would like to do then is we're going to, we're going to go to the, I'm going to go to the tab to the right, and we're going to imagine that we have some expenses on the income statement. And what we would like to do is break out the expenses. We're going to do it in two ways. We're going to make one, two separate accounts which we're gonna imagine are broken out by location. And we'll also see if we can make two categories, tracking categories that will be on uh, the income statement up top. So we can, we can break it out that way as well. And then we can use our super cool edit uh, layout tab over here to expand or collapse or format further our report. Now we added the uh, tracking categories in a prior presentation. Just Let's just recap on how to do that. Let's go to the first tab. If you wanted to add those tracking categories, accounting dropdown, advanced stuff, we're going into the advanced. Not too bad, but it is advanced. We're going into the, the range of the expert here. So we're going into, we had the tracking categories. If you add a location or a tracking category here, then the top part is the tracking category name. And then you can put multiple things that you're tracking under that category name. For us, we have the locations. I'm just gonna say location one, location two, and then I have NA or not applicable, neither location. I want to be able to assign a location to every, every transaction if I'm using this kind of strategy usually because that will allow me to, to kind of catch errors oftentimes. If I wanted to add another category, I can add another one, which would give us another tab over here. But that's the general outline with uh, those categories. Now let's add some accounts to our chart of accounts. Accounting dropdown. I'm going to go into the chart of the accounts. I'm going to add new two new accounts, which are just going to be test accounts. They're going to be expenses. Let's go over to the expense side just to make it a little bit easier to see. And I'm going to make another one just calling it 6060, let's say 6060, add an account. It's going to be called 6060. 
and it's going to be an expense type of an account and the name is simply going to be test test expense expense so test expense and i'm going to put location one and then i'm going to make another one 6065 test expense location two so i'm going to save that and let's add another one add another thank you may i have another 6065 it's going to be an expense and it's going to be test expense location two and we will add that one so now if i scroll down we've got these two uh locations when i add information to these items they will show up on the income statement as two separate locations right we're, we're going to start putting things in here two separate locations which i can then group together using my edit layout and make a subcategory for them and i can also break them out by category location up top so we're actually going to do double duty having them broke out by account and by tracking category and then uh i that gives us like a